It is Tuesday morning at Yamwan Kwanta in the central region. These children are loitering. Apparently, they are not in school. The only basic school in this community is private and ends at primary four. There is no public school here. An 80-year-old pensioner, James Kwabna Uche, has established a school to aid in educating children in the community. His aim is to bridge the educational gap, but he is limited in his efforts because he doesn't even have a classroom to help these passionate children fulfill their academic dream. At stage four, a child is forced out of school. Few children are able to pursue further in neighboring communities, but it is not without walking miles to school every day. Although James lacks the facilities, his passion to help these kids has not given him peace to enjoy life in his old age. That is something which in the near future I think the school will be a big school. I therefore need anybody who can kind of help me to complete the school building. I have started and I want to put up a solar building for the children, or for the future children who will be coming. Therefore, that's the, that, that is the whole thing which motivated me to start the school. The headmaster of the James Preparatory School laments parents in the community are not interested in building a better life for their wards. I didn't like the children to, go, to roam aimlessly. Because most of the parents, as I found them, they are not serious. They are not serious at all. Uh, to, by caring for the children, even 50 pesos a day, as I have told you at first, for one week, a child will not come to school because of 50 pesos a day. And when I changed to 45 series uh, term, same. <laughs> If I tell you the areas from September to this time um, is unbearable. I, sometimes I use my pension to pay the teachers. These children are happy studying in the corridor, not because they like it, but they have no choice. The 80-year-old James would have to wait until the pupils close from school before the family can cook, since the kitchen is always occupied with pupils during the day. Although he has started building a new school block to aid the pupils' education, it has been halted as parents find difficulties to even pay the timely fee of 45 Ghana cities. A teacher at the James Preparatory School, Ebenezer Bekakwansa, advised parents in the community to take their children's education serious since education is key to success. I saw that the academic performance and the studies of the students were very low. And there's like the parents do care less for the children. I just try my best to teach them well and I help them. Some of them, they were finding difficulties in their um, academic performance and I try to do something. Goal 4 of the SDGs seeks to achieve inclusive and equitable quality education for all and requires increasing efforts, especially for vulnerable populations, including persons with disabilities, indigenous people, refugee children and poor children in the rural areas. But until a public school is built for Yamwan Kwanta community, these children will be deprived of their legal and global rights.